Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are going to paint a pot. Um, so I was challenged by Marina of Millennial Planter, link to her channel in the description, to do the painted pot challenge. Um, so I have not opened up her challenge. She sent me a video. Um, so I'm gonna watch that here in front of you and then we're going to do whatever she challenged me to. Um, but before I get into uh, what the challenge is and what I'm doing, I want to kind of give you some steps to how I paint pots. This is not the first pot I have painted, though this is the largest pot I have painted. Um, so all of these tips are subject to not work for a large pot, but they did work for some smaller terracotta pots. So what I did is I have a used terracotta pot right here. Um, I cleaned it with a mix of water and white vinegar, warm water, and I just kind of scrubbed it with a scrub brush to get all of the grime off. I got most of it off. I'm not super picky. I'm not selling this. I'm keeping it for myself. So I don't care if there are some flaws. But once I did that, I let it completely dry out. And then I decided to do a kind of primer coat of white on it. I don't paint the full inside because that's a lot of wasted paint, in my opinion. Nobody sees it. Um, so I painted just enough and then I don't paint the bottom because again, nobody sees it. But this has been drying for approximately an hour now. It's still a little sticky, but I'm just gonna continue. I'm not gonna wait all day. I decided to do the white prime coat because I just think that would look much nicer regardless of what the challenge is. I'm not a huge fan of the terracotta look, um, but they are cheap pots. So best way to spruce up, a, spruce up a cheap terracotta pot is to paint it. I'll be using acrylic paints and then um, using kind of a top coat spray on it. I don't notice the paint getting sticky, but I know other people using this method do notice that the paint gets sticky um, when you water your plants because the pot is so porous. So if you do not love the idea of doing that, you could use outdoor paints or use um, an outdoor primer or an outdoor co cover coat. I'll probably be keeping drier plants in the terracotta anyways because I don't want to underwater my plants in terracotta, tend to wick up a lot of the moisture. Um, but So that's kind of how I paint in my process. I will grab all the tools I need once I know what the challenge is, and then we'll get started. So I'm going to bring up my laptop and watch the challenge on there. I will be editing in the clip so that you can see it, um, and you don't have to like watch it weirdly, um, and then we'll, we'll do it. So I've got my trusty laptop, and while I watch, you will also be watching right here. Hi, Elizabeth and everyone on her channel. I am Marina, the Millennial Planter, and to make this as short as sweet as possible, I am going to challenge you in this pot plant challenge, pot planting challenge, pot painting challenge. <laughs> to paint your favorite leaf on a pot. I think that'll be really cute and yeah, that's it. I want you to paint your favorite leaf. So good luck and I can't wait to see the finished product. Bye. She is so cute. Um, I was not expecting this challenge. This is, now I have to pick my favorite leaf. Well, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a minute. Okay, so I have decided, I walked around my office, I grabbed all of the green paints I own, and I believe my favorite leaf, at least right now, is the Alocasia Velvet. Um, so the fry deck, this guy. So I went and grabbed him and I am going to paint at least one of these leaves on the pot, but I'll probably do two if I like the way the first one turns out. I have no idea how this will turn out, but I'm going to give it a shot and then naturally when I'm done, I'll pot this guy in it. Um, so I'm going to put him right here to inspire me. I need to be able to see a leaf as much as you guys do. Okay, so I grabbed all of the green paints I own and I'm actually going to tilt the camera down so you're looking at my canvas that is down here and not my face while I paint below the screen. So let's do that. All right, um, I'm going to do this, but I just realized that you're not really going to be able to see what I am painting. 
So I'm going to move the camera to my side, or maybe over here, I, I don't know yet, and so that you can see what I'm painting. You're going to get a different view of the office and you're going to see some clutter and you're going to have to forgive me. Awesome. So I'm over here. Hi. Uh, I'm going to move my inspiration plant. I don't think you guys can really see it a ton. No, I don't think you're going to be able to see it a ton, so I apologize for that. Um, but as you can see, I have a ton of paints. I've got my water cup. I'm painting on a, a like a shipping priority box. Um, I've got my palette, one paintbrush, but I've got a ton more on the floor. And we're just going to get started. So first I need to color match this guy. I don't know if my camera's going to be picking up what I'm looking at properly. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to mix like a lighter green with maybe a little bit of a Yeah, I think that color will be good. And then I'll obviously also need white. Yeah, let's, let's get painting. I'm going to start. So the light green is called green gold. Uh, this paint is the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics. And I will link all of the paints that I used below if I'm able to find them. I'm um, just because I know that if you want to replicate this, um, it'll be helpful. So this darker color is Green Olive by Accent Acrylic Paint. And the white is Arteza Acrylic Colors. I really like Arteza. The greens, however, that I have of theirs aren't the types of greens I need right now. Um, hoping that these colors will be good enough. Maybe I'll, I'll also throw some sap green down because I know sap green is really dark. And I'm going to need some of everything. And this paintbrush is too thick to help me with the outline of the leaf. So I need to grab something smaller. I think this will be good. And it doesn't have a size on it. Oh, five. Which, if you're a painter, then that matters to you. If not, then I guess it doesn't really matter to you. First thing I want to do is get the outline of the leaf going. Um, so I'm actually going to start with kind of identifying the vein. So the vein's going to be here. This is not the final vein. This is just me identifying the placement. Um, and then it kind of comes down with the ears. Kind of like that. And breaks out a whole bunch of... There. Okay. I do think that this green is way too light, so I'm going to start mixing. So what I'm doing now is kind of outlining the leaf a little bit. There's very faint kind of rippling between the veins. Mine's actually a lot more noticeable than on the actual leaf. And then it comes down to a point. The beautiful thing about this challenge, and I don't know if Marina did this on purpose, but because I'm painting a leaf, it doesn't have to be perfect because every single leaf on this plant is different. And that's wonderful.
Something that I'm noticing is this paint color is definitely not bright enough. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't find a mix of paints that is brighter. This color is called Leaf Green, very fit fitting, and it's by Americana. Yeah, I think this color is going to be a little bit more fitting. I've also decided that I don't want this to be like a hyper realistic painting. I want it to be um, a little bit more minimalistic. So I'm going to actually do a couple coats of the color before I go in and do the veins. Luckily, acrylic paint dries really quickly. All right, so I've done the outline to my first leaf and I'm actually going to go in and do another one um, the same way and then I'll go back and do the veining on both of them. Something that I kind of failed to notice in this is that on the fry deck, it's very rounded right here. And I made it very pointed, so I'm gonna go back and fix that. All right, so I'm going to give this a moment to dry and I'm going to grab a different paintbrush and mix the coloring for the veins because the veins are not fully white, but they are very white. Awesome, so I think I am pretty happy with the color that I made. 
I think that it will look really well in contrast to the leaves. And now I'm going to let the leaves continue to dry. All right, I think the leaves are dried, so I'm going to start with the veining. First thing, there's kind of like a little knob almost at the top of the vein. So I'm going to start there and then move down. The veining does pretty much go to the bottom, but I'm not going to do that. All right, I have finished my pot and I'm going to reveal it. You kind of saw it in the last clip, but I'm gonna give you a close up. So first I want to remind you that this is the plant I was basing it off of. And this is the painted pot challenge. I was challenged by Marina of the Millennial Planter in the description down below. All of the paints I used will be in the description below if I can find them. Let's reveal the pot. So what do you think? Did I do good? Does it resemble the plant? What's your favorite leaf out there? If you had to pick one leaf from your collection, which one would be your favorite? Let me know in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see me do more painted pots. I'd be so happy to do more painted pots. This was so much fun and I really enjoy painting, um, which I don't do enough. So that'd be awesome if that's what you guys wanna see. I'll do more, um, if not, be this the only painted pot uh, video on my channel for a while probably. Um, but subscribe if you want to see more planty content and I will see you next time.